Good evening, everybody. This is the Sassy Lass bringing you a quick Cricut Design Space tutorial showing you how to make these cute wrap cards. Before I get into that though, I want to show you really quickly these other cute cards that I have made using Cricut Design Space and Cricut Access. And take the time to tell you that I am making these cards to send to military so that they can send back to their families at home. I am using my iPad to complete this project so things will look a little bit different than on your computer. Everything that you need is going to be down at the bottom of the screen on the iPad. Just like on the computer, you need to start with a new project. So click new project. And we need to start with a square. So you'll click shapes down at the bottom and select a square. So now I'm gonna hit images at the bottom so that I can select my frilly circle. It's around Valentine's Day, so it's Valentine images that come up. Now there are a lot of cute images, but that is what I want right there, so I'm going to select it and hit insert. And there we have it. So now I'm going to select it and hit layers down at the bottom, and now we can see all of our layers. And you can see the duplicate, the eye, and the trash at the bottom. So I'm going to make them all visible to see what I'm working with. Okay, your attach and detach, all that is in actions. So I'm gonna click actions, and that is where I'm gonna ungroup everything and delete what I do not need. Now I want to size it, so I'm gonna to go to edit for that. I'm gonna keep it locked, and I want a five by five card, so I'm gonna choose five, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to my square. I need two of these, one for each side, so I'm going to go to Actions and Duplicate it, and now I need to line everything up. It kind of wants to jump around a little bit on the iPad, so sometimes that can be a little more difficult. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit so that I can really see what I'm doing here, make sure that I'm getting it right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go to actions and I'm going to select everything and click weld. Now we need a score line. So we're gonna go down to shapes and click line. It just says line, but it is a score line. And we know that for a fact by going to layers and looking at it. And then to get rid of the layers panel, you just click layers again. Now we need to go down to edit and size it to be five inches in height. And we need to go to actions to duplicate it because we need two, one for each side. Now we need to line up our score lines on each side. And we're going to put them at the end of our square on either side, right up against those hearts. Once we have them aligned correctly, we're going to go down to Actions and select everything and attach it. Now they have to be attached, otherwise they're just floating score lines. To make sure you've done everything correctly, click Make It. If you look at the one up in the top left corner, you see a score line and a cut. You've done it right. You young people probably don't know uh, what exactly the save icon is, so go ahead and comment below if you actually do. Okay, so I may not be very creative with my save names, but it is saved and I saved it to the cloud so that I can access it from my computer and my phone and anywhere else. Okay, so here is the final product. Again, you can put a belly band around it. You can tack a cute little uh, word on the front, whatever you want. You can glue the inner card in like I did, or you can just have it loose in there and the wrap just holds it in place. 
If you would like to see a more detailed video about how I actually put cards together, then let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found it useful. Have a wonderful evening and do not forget to subscribe so that you can see all future videos.